The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. White Pine County Commission meeting, November 10th, 2021. Okay, we'll open the meeting uh, this morning, and the first item on the agenda would be a public comment. Is there any public comment on the phone, uh, Mike? You see me? Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Identify yes, yourself. This is, uh, for, the rec uh, for the record, this is Caroline McIntosh. I am a resident of the Mineral High Subdivision, and I wanted to offer public comment on item C to be heard at 945 in the Road Commission meeting. I just wanted to say thank you to the road uh, department, Bill Calderwood and Mountain, uh, Martin Trout, and also to Sheriff Henroy for supporting this effort. We've uh, had luckily had many new families, young families move into the neighborhood, and we truly need more stop signs. And we really appreciate having the proposal for a new stop sign at Opal and Bobcat Drive to slow down the traffic from the high school. And I just want to give a public thanks to all of those folks who have been involved in supporting this effort. And I certainly hope you and the commissioners will pass this today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else on the phone for public comment? Anybody like? Seeing none, hearing none, we'll look for public comment within the building. Anybody in the building with public comment? You're welcome to come up and speak your piece now in public comment. There'll be no interference during the regular meeting, so please come forward. George. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, yesterday, November 9th, I came to, uh, I went up to the new courthouse, uh, parked in the handicapped area on the southeast side and could not find an ADA compliant ramp to get to the buildings. Only stairs, new facility. Where's your building inspector? How many times I got to come before you guys and point things out? I'm really distressed at this. I can't believe a brand new building and the amount of ADA compliant concerns you've heard from me that you have a new building and it doesn't have a ramp. Now, I don't know about the uh, opposite side. I didn't check that. But the southeast side is lacking. 
doesn't give you directions for a ramp, please take a hike or whatever. You need to address that. Mr. Chairman, on October 20th, 2021, I attended the special meeting of the Eagle City Council in which R Plus Energies was seeking an easement to cross the city-owned railroad tracks to get to the area upon to which they need to conduct that drilling project. They were offering $700 a day for the privilege, but were refused. I'm concerned that this selective, and selective treatment of this proposed project by the E.D. City Council may be needlessly detrimental to other future projects. I would like to know what fees, daily or otherwise, that the county pays the city when crossing their railroad tracks, meaning the Nevada Northern City of Ely. I uh, also intend to ask what the state pays when they cross the tracks, Bath Lumber, Mount Wheeler, LA Line Power, as well as other businesses that may be uh, paying, if there are any paying. If others aren't paying, then there's a problem, deliberate discrimination to discourage business, any business, and that needs to stop. Mr. Chairman, uh, I attend the Regional Planning Commission meetings on a regular basis. I've asked uh, for some uh, public information. To date, I'm not getting anything. You need to correct that or get rid of that body. They're worthless. I told you of a, uh, the, young the young family down on Stevens. They had to sign a document that if they didn't put in curb and gutter within a given period of time, he wasn't going to give them a certificate of occupancy. Yet on that same street, there's three or four other homes that went in. They didn't have to sign a document to this day. And they've been in there for years, have not put in curb and gutter. Selective enforcement again. Across from those young people, a uh, Hispanic gentleman bought the property, put in curb and gutter. I don't know who shot the grave, but the curb and gutter ended up being six inches below the street level. But things were looking up. They took it all out, and now that curb and gutter happened to be four to six inches above grade. You need to put people in office that know what the heck they're doing. If I don't know who the engineer was, but if it was a city engineer, they need to tell that gentleman to look at his uh, equipment. You can't do that. When you have rules and regulations, they apply to everybody or they apply to nobody. I read on uh, Facebook, there's a housing shortage. People are crying for uh, livable spaces. I can't rent my property as others do. That's yeah. discrimination. That's you need to address that, and you need that planning That's board to get their head out. Thank you. Thank you. You hear me? Yes. Thank you. I need some answers. Is there any other? Back. Thank you. Is there any other public comment in the building? Is there any other public comment? Last call on the phone. Anybody on the phone want to speak? Hearing none, and seeing none, we'll move on with the meeting, and we'll go to the uh, to page two, uh, item one, notice of untimed items. And it's a 905 timed item. It's the Great Basin Transmission LLC. Uh, the presentation discussion only regarding the Great Basin Transmission's proposal to construct and operate the 500 kilo, kilovolt transmission proposal to construct and operate a 500 kilovolt electrical transmission facility in the no, to be known as the northern portion of the southwest inter interact project SWIP North and will be located in White Pine County. Mark Milburn, Great Basin Transmission LLC. Mark, are you here? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. I appreciate the opportunity to come before you today. Um, I know some of you, um, my company Ellis Power has been working on energy projects in this region for over 10 years, probably close to 15 years. And uh, some of you may remember um, the One Nevada transmission line that we built uh, in conjunction with MD Energy. Uh, it starts at the uh, Robinson Summit substation out uh, just west of the mine, south of Highway 50 and goes south into Vegas. We built that in 20, we put that into service in 2014, and it's a collaborative project with uh, MD Energy. Uh, this commission, this body, uh, uh, provided a special use permit for that project. Um, my company, LS Power, uh, let, me, let me stop for a second and introduce myself and the company. Uh, my name is Mark Milburn. I'm Vice President of LS Power, responsible for overseeing 
major transmission and generation uh, electric projects in the West. Uh, I also got with me today my colleague.